<clears throat> hey there, Eric with you from doghealthblog.com. Hope you're having a nice day. I'm out with the gang again today. Give you some close-ups here. Just wanted to speak to you today about a, uh, a chemical in the brain. It's called dopamine. It's a neurotransmitter. It's a messenger, a chemical messenger. And it is released when times of uh, joyous times or excited times or, or happy times. Uh, a lot of people, uh, sometimes you'll uh, hear it referred to as a runner's high or sometimes in sports they call it being in the zone or just just in everyday life also if you're having a really good day things seem to be going well for you a lot of times that can be uh, elicited by a dopamine release this chemical messenger in your brain the really neat interesting part is dogs have dopamine also so these guys are also capable of releasing this uh, messenger, this neurotransmitter, when they're happy, having a good time, like they probably are now. Yes, when, when you take your dogs for walks or even uh, when they're eating an enjoyable meal, that will definitely get the dopamine pumping in dogs. And why I bring this up is if you're trying to teach your dog or train your dog by trying to use dopamine as an adjunct to accomplish a goal, whether it be training, um, having your dog do some type of silly trick like sit or shake, potty training your dog, having your dog not pull on his leash. We always wanna try to be positive. And again, with positivity comes dopamine. With dopamine, is a happy dog and just like people if dogs are happy if they're excited then they're going to respond much better um, i think a lot of people sometimes will unfortunately go with the more stern route where they negatively teach their dog by whether it be scolding them uh, with a choke collar a lot of times they'll try to teach their dog in that fashion it may work, it probably will eventually work, but the dog is not gonna enjoy it, first of all. Secondly, we're, we're teaching through pain, eliciting through pain, through negativity. It will come about much quicker, again, whether you're trying to train or teach your dog, if it's positive, if you can use this, again, neurotransmitter, this chemical called dopamine, which is it puts the dog in a happy state they are much more likely to respond to you if you can go that route. So I thought it was interesting. Thought it may help you out also. But these guys, uh, put them in a happy spot, in a happy place, and they will respond to you. Hope that helps you out. You have a good day. See these guys? You can almost see the dopamine pouring into their brains. I hope you have a good day and keep wagging.